former Garsen member of parliament, that is uh, Danson Mungatana, has been arrested by the ESCC officials that happened yesterday. Zinzi and Waiga, you have more details? That's right. Uh, this mm -hmm. is what we know so far. We know that he was arrested together with others over the alleged theft of 51.5 million Kenya shillings from the coffers of Kilifi County. Mm -hmm. And of course, alongside um, our other officials, among them four Kilifi County officials and two business persons. He was arrested on Wednesday night, uh, taken to Malindi. They will be arraigned before a Malindi law court today, if that isn't already going on as we speak. And of course, one of, one of the stories that's coming out of this is that this has been linked to a scam by where a businesswoman claimed that Mungatana used her company as a conduit to allegedly receive 9.1 million. Now we're still trying to understand the numbers. 51.5 mm -hmm. million is what ESCC say, but we've seen a report here that there is one deal of 9.1 million. It seems like you know it's one of many deals, and we'll get to hear more about that. Six other officials, as you mentioned, including exactly. Kilifi County officials and two, two business persons. But the DPP is also pursuing 14 others um, in the same racket. So we'll see as the day develops, and he is of course expected in court today in Malindi. Now, the in terms of the allegations, no goods or services were delivered to Kilifi County. And that is where the big issue is in regards to this. We're talking about a former Garcin Member of Parliament, a former Assistant Minister for Medical Services. And last year, he was in the headlines again after it came to light that he had been conned, Zinzi, of 76 million Kenya mm -hmm, shillings mm -hmm. by crooks, allegedly of West African origin, mm -hmm. uh, who had promised to multiply his loot some say to one billion shillings. That's the last that we, we heard about this man before the news that we've got in our newsroom today. Exactly. And like you said, the numbers are still not very clear. We're seeing 51.5 million. Others That's what are is saying. The ESCC documents. ESCC. The lady was saying 9.1 million. Yeah. So one report says there's one deal yes. of 9.1 million. Yes. So it might be one deal within the larger the, picture, but Trevor also wants so. to come in. Yeah, so this, like you're mentioning, the numbers are still not very clear. What the ESCC says, though, is that they're probing 51.5 million shillings okay. paid out to six companies. And six. there's uh, six companies. So one of the deals might be this 9.1 exactly. million. Exactly. They're saying we, the investigations yeah. has established that their stated companies did not offer any services mm -hmm. nor supplied goods to the county government of Kilifi. They're also saying that the local service orders, which is the LSO, used were fake as they did not originate from the county government, so that the county government officials processed and approved payments for goods and services not delivered. So the judges they're looking at, as he appears before the Malindi court today, is that fraudulent acquisition of public property. That's what they're charged with. Exactly, mm -hmm. altering, false, altering false documents and dealing with proceeds of crime. Mm -hmm. And the ESCC is looking, is still has been directed to get 21 more suspects to be arrested with so several offences. No goods or services were delivered at the and, end of the day. And yet the money was paid about 51, 51 million 569,775 shillings to be precise. To be precise. Okay. To six companies. That's